One of the first questions people ask when they get on our boat is what do all the ropes at the mast do? This video demonstrates how we use two of those ropes or halyards. Before you uh, finish watching this video, I just want to apologize now for the wind noise. Um, in the Caribbean, it's impossible to find any kind of equipment, so we are headed to America where I will uh, eventually figure out how to stop the wind noise. Uh -oh. You gotta get it right first time. <laughs> <laughs> So here we've got Kyle that would be explaining the pole lift, but the wind was so bad uh, I've had to record over it. But what he's showing you now is the four guy that keeps the pole from going back towards the spreaders. And then you've got the sheet that runs through the little eyelet there. Uh, and then what he's holding now is the topping lift and that holds the actual pole up. So those are the three main ropes uh, that you need to use for pulling out a sail. Here is the winch uh, that winches the pole up and down. So depending on which way we want it to go up or down, we just move this little doohickey in the bottom. Uh, so when we go down the next time, it's a set there. And we just winch it up or winch it down, and then it sits back in its case right here. Uh, and this is the other pole. So whenever we change uh, direction, we have to, if we, if the jib goes to the other side, we have to pull out uh, the other pole, which is quite a lot of work actually. Hey sign. I think the safety line needs to be relaxed. So here we've got the main out, and it's out pretty much as far as it can go before it hits the spreaders. So the main is fully out, and what we've got here is a preventer on it, and let me just show you that there. It goes to that pulley system right there, and it what it's doing is it's effectively holding the boom out so that the wind doesn't get on the other side of the sail and cause a crash tack or cause the boom to violently swing to the other side of the boat. Uh, it's happened on this boat a couple times and it's, uh, it, it's horrible. It's one of the worst experiences I've ever had on this boat. The whole boat just shudders and it feels like everything's going to come crumbling down. So we don't ever want that to happen. And that's why it's called a jibe preventer. And that just attaches down there, and we have it hooked up to a winch back there so we can control it 
uh, bring it in and or out as we bring the main in or out. pushed off over to the side and then we've also we've got the jib or genoa which is pushed out to the port side and it's pulled out because we are in very little wind let's we'll get a little closer to the controls and we are in I can't see it we're going 4.6 how many knots of wind do we have guys 9.8 9.8 knots of wind and we're doing 4.6. Probably the best we can do with this light wind. 